Hello everyone, welcome to TechEQA channel. In this video, we are going to see about uh, what is the difference between debuggable APK and release APK. So in this video, more or less practical example, there will be a lot of talk. Uh, try to understand. I will show real like difference also. How they are creating the uh, debuggable and re uh, like uh, release APK uh, so that you will get some idea. So what is the exact difference? What are the limitations of a release or debug? Okay. So uh, whatever project you have under project, just build. So once you build, what will happen? The exact product uh, project location, you just go here, epic like uh, go to the app, double click on the app, build, uh, output, apk, debug. So here you will get a app debug. This is debuggable apk. So we can use it for a uh, Robotium automation, instrumentation automation, wherever required. Then if you want to do some uh, CPU, GPU analysis part. So this debuggable APK will be free to do. You can do anything. Okay. Even if you want to do like uh, when you are testing, if you want to see the logs uh, in the locket also, that uh, this will be enabled. Debuggable app will show so that you can filter only that logs. Okay, if it is released, you cannot see it properly. Okay, that also, like, you, you will get a freedom of seeing the logs and all. What is release APK? So, so why we have to cre create a release APK and how they are creating it? In the project, so, go to build. Anyway, we won't create. But how they will create? They will create a generate signed APK. So, they will ask which app, key store path. So, I need to create a new key store. Something like uh, key store path, they will ask just give uh, app key. Let it store on desktop password. Okay. It will ask something like that. some names. For the app owner organization you need something like test organization something you can give something like that bangalore okay so i have created one key store so if this key store if you attach with the build it's called release apk so what is the use of this key store? So this will make your app unique. The like the package name. First, initially you have seen the package name, right? Uh, com dot dot. So the app name will come, right? The package name will be registered with Google, so no one else can create the same app with the same package. They cannot post it into uh, Play Store. And if you are, if you have, if you lost this key and if you have created new one, so that app will be acting like a different app not the existing one if you're planning to app new version you should have the same key these are all the importance of the key anyway this is not required for uh, testing team but developer it will be helpful so once you create it will it will show you this thing just click uh, finish please select one signature mm, okay i will create full signature okay wait for gradle build running as well as uh, so you well, when you are uh, building the release apk please unplug your uh, real devices if you are really building the re release apk so you 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 have got some idea right so release apk we, in debug apk we don't have any like a uh, key store embed and all in release apk we will add the key store so sometimes it won't allow you to debug and uh, you cannot see the internal things so I have explained mostly like instead of difference I have showed you how to how they have created and uh, what is the use of it and you cannot put in the you cannot put your develop like debuggable apk into the play store if you are creating the signed apk that only you can put into a play store the same go to the project app in the app only you can see release app release apk so this is how it will be created so you can add the version then you can put into play store so this is the difference like from the developer end as well as 
in the test end as well okay guys if you have any other doubts regarding this uh, debuggable and release apks you can ask ask in the comments if you are facing any issues also you can put into comments okay thanks for watching please subscribe our channel for more videos like this thank you